Hey guys, it's Blast453 here, and I have a Photoshop video for my Photoshop viewers on how to do a color splash in Photoshop CS3, CS4, and CS5.1. Yeah, Adobe just updated their Adobe's, uh, Adobe software, and that's why it is a Photoshop.1. Photoshop CS5.1, sorry. Okay, this is a color splash. We're going to make one apple have color, and the rest of them are going to be all in black and white. It's kind of like that Sin City effect I had in one of my videos on uh, Sin City effect Final Cut Express 4. Yeah. So, to start off this tutorial, we're going to duplicate our background. And once you have them duplicated, unselect the uh, availability on the background. Next, we select the top layer of the copy, and then we go to Image. Go down to we go to Adjustments, then we go to down to Black and White. Once we have select Black and White, they give you a whole bunch of choices right here. How, what, how, like, what kind of black and white color? Like, you can make it look whatever type of black and white you want, but this black and white looks pretty nice. So next, what we're gonna do is. Uh, click the eye again and then what's next what we're gonna do is you can either g use the eraser tool and erase the the apple you want to have color but that will be messy so you could either get the polygon polygonal lasso tool or yeah or use the eraser so you just find it right in there and after that you start you just start you know doing doing your work so next all you gotta do is just go around the full apple to make it look good I'm gonna skip this part so you guys don't have to wait and see me go throughout this whole thing so once I have finished this um I have just finished this right about now so once you guys are done doing this you are then going to um grab the eraser tool right here and then basically just start erasing the whole entire apple. So bam, right there. You got a nice looking apple. And yeah, it looks pretty perfect actually. It's not really overall perfect because you can see right there I got half of that apple. It looks pretty good actually. I, th I thought I would mess up a little bit. But I did a little bit right there and a little bit right there. So. Yeah, guys, that's pretty much how you do the um, color splash effect in Adobe Photoshop CS5.1, Adobe CS5, Adobe CS3, and Adobe CS4. So, yeah, guys, just please subscribe, like this video, and favorite it. And uh, you might want to subscribe. If I haven't already said that already, I probably did, but I'm just saying that because you will miss out on a whole bunch of tutorials for Photoshop. And for Adobe CS, for Adobe After Effects, sorry guys, Adobe After After Effects CS 5.5. I also I also updated that because Adobe updated theirs, so I updated so I updated my Adobe After Effects. I also got Adobe Premiere, so be ready for Adobe Premiere videos also for tutorials and whatnot. Please hit the subscribe button. Okay, see you guys next video. Peace.